Welcome back to CentralValleyTalk.com with Mike Briggs and Athena. All right, so Mike, are you going to join us on this interview? Oh, my God, it's Icky Woods. He's a big fan. Mike, it's Icky, Icky, Icky. I was late because she sprayed that stuff in my face. She goes, you look old. She goes, shh, shh. am I turning red? I'm, look how red I'm getting. Can you see Oh, it? my God. He's, you're looking younger already. I know. I feel younger. Should we spray some in your face, Icky? Yeah. I didn't shake your hand. Or, uh, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure meeting you, too. Thank you. You went to Edison. Yeah. You went to UNLV. Yes. yes. And the Bengals. Mm -hmm. Your whole career at the Bengals. He, he yeah, knows all career. about What do I know about football, oh, yeah. right? <laughs> and he played, so I confirmed, he played football for UNLV around the same time that Jerry Tarkanian was there. Yeah. Yeah. I expect you to play basketball, no, obviously. No, no, no. Did to, you know him a little? Got or? to meet Jerry, yeah. He, uh, you now, know, you were a receiver, they, they right? Been, no, I was a running back. Which means when they bring, you carry the ball. I carried the ball, yeah. Hey, Carry the ball, score gets, touchdowns, a and lot have of fun. Them. Yeah. That is a thing. It's so funny because, because okay, so Icky was so good to my son, Racco. Yeah. We saw him at the big Fresno Ferry at a booth there and Bengal mini helmets, and Racco was signing it. Racco was getting all part, shy. You make the touchdown, and what do you do when you do the touchdown? I do a little dance called the Icky, Icky Shuffle, Shuffle, man. We have I wish we had something. Of that. Well, I kind of do. Let's 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 hit the video. There this it is, right there. There it is. Uh, <laughs> Icky Shuffle. Yeah, we're getting it done, having some fun. And these are people talking about the Icky Shuffle. Yeah, a few haters in there too. That's you right. Know. That's good, Michael. <laughs> there was. So that is awesome. You you know it's very rare, just like radio and maybe not TV, but it's rare in radio or even being a football coach to play for one team or just stay in radio at one station. Yeah. You you were at the Bengals your entire NFL career? Yeah, I was there for four years until injuries took me away from the game. So yeah. uh, what happened? Your knees? Of, yeah, knees. Uh, knees. Concussion? I uh, tore. Tore both my ACLs. It wasn't wasn't really concussions, but I, see a I had a I had a probably both had a, yeah. a few. Yeah, I had both my knees replaced about four years ago. I think I'm the feel size great. of I'm the size yeah, of feel Icky's great. knee. Yeah, I lost a hundred hundred pounds in the wow. process of doing that, and now the knees feel great. You guys Body's had a big game great. against UOP. Do you remember that University of the Pacific? Yeah. Uh huh. And Alan Autry played for them, but that, he's way older than you, I think. You went there. I think so, yeah. I was, I was <laughs> Sorry, there. Sorry, Helen. <laughs> Sorry, Alan. You're way Did much older right, than right. <laughs> But most importantly, Icky lost his son to asthma. His yes. name was Giovante. Giovante, yes. Mm -hmm. how, how old was he? He was 16 when I lost him. Yeah. Did he always did he, did he always have asthma? Was he playing football? Was it yeah? Big no, he what, was he was diagnosed at uh, two with asthma. So we had, a, had asthma yeah, so we had a two. couple of ho hospital stays and okay. never in my wildest dreams that I think asthma could kill until it took my baby from me. And so uh, started doing some uh, research and come to find out asthma is the fastest growing disease in America, but it's the it least is. amount of money spent on if not finding a cure finding a better way to treat it and then and since 1980 asthma has risen 80 percent in the kids from the age of being born to the age 19 and then a real alarming statistic that just kind of blew me out the water is that 11 people a day die from asthma Eleven. Yeah. Is it a change people. in air quality? It, it it has a lot to do with the air quality, uh, the stuff that they're putting in the foods, and you know that type of thing. So we're we're raising money to try to do some research, and like I said, uh, trying to find a cure. But if not a cure, a better way to treat it because we're losing too many people uh, to this disease for it to be the number one growing disease in America, and nobody's doing anything about it. Yeah, researching cancer and all these other yeah. things, but asthma. Yeah. Is the fastest growing, and right. we need to put some resources there. Yep. And there's like a lot of, um, like, like, like there's more sprays now, like nasal sprays, and um, I forgot what they're called, inhalers, inhalers. Yeah, inhalers and then yeah. there's chambers yeah. associated with the inhalers. Do you get involved with stuff like that? Do you team up with? Uh, yeah, we're we're, we're trying to team up with a few uh, pharmaceutical companies uh, looking yeah. to uh, hopefully get an asthma mobile unit with uh, Valley Children's. That's our that number would one. Be good. Yeah. That's our number one goal as far as raising money here in the Valley is to fund the asthma unit at Valley Children's Hospital. So how can people help? I know you were at the fair and, yeah. you know, you, you raise a lot of proceeds for the foundation. What are, is there anything coming up that people can help? Well, they can go this? online. You know, we got a store online. You know, we got a donut. Yeah, with we the got helmets a, and all that many stuff helmets selling? and, okay, yeah, cool. and jerseys and stuff like that. So if they want some memorabilia stuff, yeah. they can go to our, uh, 
our store online and, cool. and get that. So that's uh, great. And just, you know, just support. You know, yes. whenever we have an event in town, come out and support and help us uh, raise this money to get that, that asthma mobile unit. A big part of it is raising, raising the awareness. Yeah. Yes. I wouldn't have known until you yeah. said it just now. This mm -hmm. is the fastest growing disease. And yeah. Well, especially here. I know you're back and forth from uh, Ohio and here. I don't know how the air quality is in Cincinnati or in Ohio. But um, here, yes, the Discovery yeah. Channel. <laughs> so, do you know the Discovery Channel told me? The whole Fresno area is a worst air or has the potential to have the worst, worst air in the world. Right. Fresno, Bakersfield. Oh, yeah. And then... Does it that all causes asthma? Yeah, it's in this valley. You're in that you're in that bowl. Everything's funneled down. So you know you gotta you gotta watch uh you gotta watch the kids. You know, especially when they have them asthma attacks. And we wanna yeah, teach sports. parents. Yeah, we wanna teach parents. You know, to look for the warning signs. Take and, it serious. Yeah, take it real serious. The you know, because yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Right? I was in uh, elementary yeah. school. The, our coaches would uh, make fun of the kids. Right. Asthma. We're right. trying to use an asthma as a excuse, oh, but it's a real right. deal. Right. And that's the real deal. And I, and I, we want to educate coaches and teachers and everybody about yes. asthma because, like you said, when I came up too, if a kid was loafing or slow or breathing hard, you know, they well, if he was breathing hard and trying to run, they would call him a loafer because he was behind everybody else and, and so he could have been fun. having an asthma attack. My, but, yeah. Mine was yeah. in the 1960s. Yeah. You guys weren't even born then probably, but, <laughs> but um, now it's becoming more... We need to talk about it more. We need to get it out there and realize how serious it is so we can start uh, helping whoever needs the help to right. find a solution, whether it's pharmaceutical find a solution, company, right. government researchers, whoever's doing the research. It's expensive to do that. It is. And, uh, uh, because we don't really totally understand it yet. Right. Can we go to that website for the store right there? Javante yeah, the JavanteWoodsFoundation.org is our is our website, and they can go on there and donate, plus they can go on there and get some memorabilia stuff. I really appreciate yeah. you being on the air with us and talking about your son and talking about how we can make everyone aware. Yeah, well, thanks for out. having us in. We appreciate it. Anytime we can get that word out about yes. the foundation and more importantly about asthma, about how yes. serious and and severe it is uh, in in this in in America. You know, we got to keep getting this word out, keep educating people, and hopefully, like I say. One day, hopefully, find a cure. If not, find a better way to treat it. You know what? Yeah. You're absolutely right. And get the mobile going. Oh, That's yeah. Awesome. We've got one minute left. Just, okay. Uh, uh, JavanteWoodsFoundation.org. If you can't find it, you forget it, or you think of it later, call us at Center Valley Talk. I'll have this information on hand right by my desk, and, uh, and we'll put you in touch with them. Who else is involved in the foundation? Uh, we got Valley Children's here in, cool. in the area involved, and then we got a... Um, they're not actually here. They're up. They're up in L.A. They're uh, they're getting involved with us too. And they're uh, what we're going to also try to do in the area is uh, do some buying and flipping houses to help us cool. fund this asthma now unit. That's so, cool. yeah. We're totally out of time. I'm going to yeah. say goodbye for Mike and Athena and Icky Woods. Woo, and, uh, we'll have to have we'll you on there with us. All right, great. Back. We'll come definitely back. come back. We'll be back with more information. <laughs> Let's put some more information on the screen.